Good evening guys, this is Manpreet here again and today we are going to discuss about S3 Simple Storage Service Lab. So for, let's directly jump on to the AWS console. Let me log in please. So here is the AWS management console. So here you can see that the region select I have selected is Northern Virginia. The reason I have selected this is because this is the region where all the updates comes first by uh, Amazon. So this is why I have selected this. So so that we can we'll uh, get the S3 the latest one. Okay. So let's uh, search for S3. So here you can see that I do not have any bucket and here is how to get started with uh, you can learn here also however we'll, we'll do this now let's click on first we need to create a bucket we need to type per bucket name let's keep it as my picks and as you remember from the last lecture that this is a uh, the universe the name for a bucket or s3 bucket should be universal namespace that means it should be unique throughout the all the buckets in aws environment so let's see if it's available so let's go on to other one that is region already selected as northern virginia and click on next so it shows that bucket name already exists so we'll We'll have to change it like my picks uh, something 8976. Let's see if it's there or not. So yes, it exists. So here is the second one that is options, configuring options. We have two types of mainly. First one is versioning. So that suppose or whatever object we update in uh, uh, upload in our bucket. So we can keep all the versions of an object in the same bucket, or we can create new bucket and keep other the same versions of uh, versions of the same object in other bucket also so well it's not required right now second one is log server access logging that is log request for access to your bucket and third one is tag so you can use tag to tag project code so you can learn here by clicking here these things are not very important so if you want to uh, create a tag you can put like in and well you can be my pictures let's go to next now this one is very important that is permissions so here you can see that you can grant access to specific users after you create the bucket so after creating the bucket we can grant access for particular users to this particular bucket or we can also give access to the uh, complete to everyone by giving the public access so you can see that what are the by default uh, settings for this bucket so you can see that manage public access control list for this bucket as we have discussed okay here you can see that by default as we have discussed by default there is no access given to public so by default block new public ACLs and upload uploading public object so no one can upload by uh, public cannot access this bucket or the object lying inside it by default so what we'll do is we'll click on this as we want this to be public and we click on this also and managing manage public bucket policies for this bucket similarly we do not want this also and we do not want this also and so that everyone in public can access uh, these things okay let's go to next and you can see that the name this is the name of the bucket region it's based in us east virginia however you can see that when we have started creating the region change to global however your bucket will be hosted in this uh, virginia at uh, this region option version we have disabled for now right now we have not used service access logging and only one tag we have used object level logging also we have disabled we have not used any encryption also in this other things are also disabled in this permission you can see that 
we have given block new public access and uploading public objects so we have we have made it false it means it's accessible to all the public let's go and create the bucket so now your bucket is created and you can see that objects can be public so we'll click on this and you can see that but if suppose you have created uh, your bucket by, uh, by, by related with all the default settings so after creating bucket also you can edit your uh, settings here also okay so it will directly give you this page so to make it uh, accessible to all the public to everyone in the internet you need to uncheck these boxes okay and if you want to make it only accessible to certain people or certain group of people you can click on this and make them not public let's cancel it as we have already done that let's go and go into the bucket and let's upload some objects so i'll upload uh, some objects from my desktop where it goes So here is that at the lab i'll upload my pictures first one is done add more file i'll add my second pick in this and i'll go to next so I uploaded two objects that is inside a bucket also bucket can be considered as a folder over the cloud and let's see you can see here how you can manage users also so you can add other accounts also or other people also and what access they can have like read or write so if i click on add account i need to give their email address okay and i can click whether they only can see that object and do both also okay so right now we don't i don't want anybody except me to access these objects so i won't uh, go on to that and here you can see that manage public permissions so here what i'll do is what by default you can see that there is no public read access to the object by default it's given so i'll click on this i'll give read access to this object okay so he can you can see that they have given the warning that everyone in the world will have read access to this to this object or object, these objects let's go on to next so as you know we have discussed about the storage uh, class those are mainly these types first one is standard and this one is a new one in the intelligent tiring in which you can see that uh, it is for long-lived data with changing or unknown access patterns and it's mainly available more than or in three regions or more uh, three availability zones or more than three availability zones and the read and attention period for this uh, data is 30 days and uh, the fees is applied uh, per object based so similarly you can select other one standard uh, inf infrequent access and one zone infrequent access as we have already discussed about this we won't discuss it anymore so let's uh, select the standard one that is the default one and for encryption you can see that you can select three types mainly first one is uh, i don't want right now to protect my data okay here you can select on amazon s3 master key or you can also take, use the option kms uh, master key so any of these we won't be discussing right now but you, you should read before going for the exam let's uh, select none and i don't want to keep any metadata for this i don't want to add any tag for this so these things are just for uh, your readability purpose let's go to next so here is the review you can see that i have uploaded two files or two objects and and that permissions that is to, to every everybody and encryption you can see that i have not used any encryption story class i used as standard then metadata and then i'll click on upload So here you can see that, that it's successful and here by clicking you can see that both the objects has been uploaded and you can click on this so here you see, I have, as i have discussed earlier that http 200 code is given to you when any 
bucket uh, when any uh, object is uploaded successfully so that will that is that code you need to remember based on uh, uh, exam purpose okay so http 200 is given when any object is uploaded successfully in a bucket so you need to remember this for the exam okay so now let's click uh, on any object so here you can see that you can see that owner and when it was modified this is the e tag not important storage class is this and i have not done any uh, encryption so there are mainly two types of encryption one is a client side encryption other one is server side encryption so client side encry encryption is like that i can encrypt my data for example my picture on my laptop or my desktop and then i can upload it so that is client uh, side encryption and server side encryption is like when i can do an encryption on uh, aws console okay so here you can see that this is the object url so i click on this so you can see that it's open now so as as you remember as we have discussed if you uh, if you remember that by default all the objects in a bucket won't have public access okay but while uploading the uh, uh, while uploading the objects in the bucket we have given the public access public access to these so this is the my first picture as uh, this is the object url suppose you want someone or suppose i want um, from my family who are not staying with me i want them to see this picture so i'll give this url to them and they can open it and they can directly see uh, on their internet so this is my picture let's go for the um, second object let's go to my bucket and let's click on the second picture let's see let's click on this copy this oh we can directly open in the new tab let's see if it's opening or not so yes it's opening so it shows that uh, uh, we have given uh, universal access or the public access to both of our, of our objects in the bucket in the bucket this bucket and um, you can restrict this also suppose uh, there are some uh, some hr and he has uh, he or she has some particular file he doesn't want you people to see but he want his manager to see that so what he'll do is he'll upload that particular file or whatever pdf file or whatever picture or whatever on s3 bucket with any specific universal namespace and then he'll share that link to that particular person and he'll give access to that particular person only so uh, so that is it for today guys that is for amazon s3 lab this is the basic this was the basic lab and uh, that is it for today thank you very much if you have any questions please post on my channel thank you very much have a good day bye bye